interesting. You've got me w- wanting to look into this stuff. But let's get back to Heisman. You well, got- I was going to say, I could I could relate because when I first started getting to it, like my attitude was, this is weird, this is strange. But there was still some inner voice of curiosity that says, just check it out anyway. And it was shocking to me. And it wasn't comfortable because I was into these weird things that felt good to me and made sense. But as I shared them with other people, they weren't going to get it. And so it was it was tough. I but think that's end, where I'm at. Like, I think there were that. But I think I just went through that cycle, too, because okay, when I first started growing, I didn't want to show my face because I was worried that like my job would find out and I'd get fired. And then eventually I just like I kind of took that risk. Now, it wasn't a big multi-million dollar risk like you took. <laughs> Well, I was a bit smaller, but it was still a risk. And I started showing my face, and you get so much positive feedback from it, man. And I'm on such a small scale. So thank you for what you do, man, because you are making a difference. You're being seen. People are talking about you now more than they were talking about you before. And, and not that you want people talking about you, but you're doing a better thing now, I think. Not that football is a bad no, thing. I do but- want people talk. I do want people talking about me because they're going to do it anyway, and I'd rather – when they're talking about me, it's something that's not gossip, but it's something that's actually like beneficial and uplifting to people. I just want, I, you know, that's the one thing that bothered me the most is that my name was associated with something negative where everything that I believe in and everything I live for is about helping myself and other people feel better and enjoy life more. And I just want a more accurate representation of everything that I've put my, my life, my effort into, into creating. Yeah, like eventually you're going to be known as the cannabis healer compared to the touchdown fucking running machine that you were back in the day. Like, yeah, when... and and uh, but it's also cannabis is a big is a big part of my story, and I think it's a wonderful tool or dare I say sacrament. But the story is bigger because I'm definitely a cannabis advocate. I'd say I'm a mental health advocate, but I think at the end of the day, I'm really advocating for people's souls. You know, there's 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 very few, including our parents, unfortunately. <laughs> there's there's very few people, beings, structures, right, that really care about or even acknowledge the existence of our soul, right? That there's an inner part of us that that's seeking something, a meaningful expression in the world, you know? So much of our parents, and I understand, right? They want us to be good kids and they want us to be safe and all that stuff. But sometimes in wanting that for us, they they miss right? That our soul has a purpose that might require getting in a little bit of trouble, you know, being a little uncomfortable, right? Because it seems like that's how we grow the most. 